that is vectors any physical quantity physical quantity means the quantity which will be used to measure things or we will say the quantity which can be measured physical quantity is a length hai breadth hai volume hai these all the quantities which you can measure that is called physical quantity there are two type of quantities we have physical quantity is divided into parts now one quantity is which are scalar another is the vector quantity scalar quantity as those quantity which can be completely expressed by its magnitude only so write down what is scalar quantity those physical quantities which are completely expressed by their magnitude which are completely expressed by their magnitude then we have another quantity vector quantity those physical quantities which are completely expressed those physical quantities which are completely expressed by their magnitude and direction by their magnitude and direction just like i'll take two compare two things i'll compare one is speed and another we called as velocity then i'll have distance another we have displacement speed means we will say simply whatever the odometer tells you or whatever in the vehicle where you are sitting how much speed means how much distance it is going to cover in a hour that is called speed they are not going to tell you in what direction the things are going we only say that this is the distance it is covering in a unit time that will be speed so we will have a speedometer or a odometer in the vehicle and that will tell you what is the distance covered in one hour so that will be given by speedometer or we'll say distance or odometer that is the uh, instrument which will tell you speed but that will not tell you what is the direction in which you are moving but when you think about the velocity at that time the speed should be known to you with the direction in what direction you are going and in what speed you are going if two things are added we will call that as a velocity same way distance if i say my house is 4 km away from my school that means this is a distance given 4 km is the distance but when i say displacement in that case i should give what is the distance as well as i should go in a direction direction also must be given that is called as a vector quantity so we will say velocity is a vector quantity in which speed with the direction displacement distance with the direction that it will be called displacement this is distance this is speed they are not having any direction so scalar quantity means the quantity which cannot be needing direction which only expressed by their magnitudes 50 km speed is 25 km an hour 30 km an hour if i am saying speed of the vehicle i'll say that is speed same way if i say 10 km from the uh, particular point or 20 km from the point that means i'm not mentioning the direction i'll say distance but when i say direction as well as speed we will say velocity will be given to you same way if you know that direction as well as the distance then it will be called as a displacement it is called vector quantity now what are vector quantity we have to study we have to study this vector quantity every vector which you are going to represent that should have three characters so write down what are the vectors characters so write down every vector every vector which will be denoted by this p q symbol is arrow here every vector p q has the following three characters as following three characters every vector which is denoted by p q arrow is there p q vector has three characters first write down 
the length of pq vector first is length of pq vector length of pq vector denoted by magnitude of pq first is length of pq vector that is denoted by magnitude of pq what is the length of it length of this vector second the line of unlimited length unlimited length whose part is this vector second is the line of unlimited length whose part is this vector is called support line is called support line is called support line hello हेलो हाँ जी हेलो यस एंड थर्ड वन इज द सेंस ऑफ पी क्यू वैक्टर थर्ड इज सेंस ऑफ पी क्यू वैक्टर दैट इज द डायरेक्शन okay that three things must be with the vector for example if i have this vector this is p and this is q this is called initial point this is called terminal point any vector when you represent this will be the initial point this is the terminal point the length of this vector will be denoted by magnitude of pq vector इसकी जो लेंथ है दैट इज कॉल्ड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ पी क्यू सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज द लेंथ ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड यू शुड नो लेंथ ऑफ दिस वेक्टर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द वेक्टर मस्ट बी नोन इफ यू आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग एनी वेक्टर फर्स्ट यू शुड हैव व्हाट इज द लेंथ ऑफ दैट वेक्टर डिनोटेड बाय पी क्यू वेक्टर सेकंड इज द सपोर्ट लाइन दिस इज वन इनफाइनाइट लॉन्ग लाइन इज देयर डॉटेड लाइन एक्सटेंडेड इंफिनिटी इंफिनिटी then this will be the part of this infinity line this vector is a line some part or we will say this is a infinite line and this vector is part of this line or you should say this is a line segment of this line then this will be called as support line this unlimited line or unlimited length line so line of unlimited length whose part is the vector is called support line so this is our support line third one they are writing sense of pq vector sense means the arrow it is going from p to q or it is going from q to p that will be the vector sense so sense means the arrow which you are placing or the direction you are taking it is showing pq vector means it is p to q by the way if i take the arrow this way then it will be called as qp vector okay so qp vector means it will be going from q to p if i am taking pq that means it is going from p to q so any vector you are taking that will be having three things first is the magnitude that is called length of this vector second is called line of unlimited length that is called support line whose part is this vector and third is sense of pq vector third is sense of pq vector or we will say direction of the vector so direction must be known magnitude should should be known and the support line should be known so if these three things you know that you can represent a vector then write down type of vectors 
Next one, write down type of vectors. First, write down, please. Type of vectors. In that first is zero or null vector. Zero or null vector. A vector is said to be null vector whose magnitude is zero. A vector is said to be a null vector whose magnitude is zero or I should say whose initial and terminal point remain the same. Write down the definition. A vector whose initial and terminal point coincide. A vector whose initial and the terminal point coincide is called null vector or a zero vector. Okay, and that will be denoted by simply a dot because the length is zero. So if you have this vector zero vector, then its magnitude PQ will be zero. In this case, P and Q are the point which are coinciding here. So P is also here and Q is also here. So this will be a null vector that you should keep in mind. Right or no, this is called null vector. Second one, write down please, like and unlike vectors. Like vectors. Second one, like vectors. Write down what is like vectors. Vectors are said to be like if they have same sense of direction if they have same sense of direction. One vector acting in this direction, another vector acting in this direction. Both are in the same direction. Same direction means support line A to ki parallel honi chai. Right? And the sense must be same. These two vectors will be definitely parallel to each other. In this uh, support line parallel hogi and their sense will be the same. Ye hi aapka vector upar kaam kar raha, ye hi vector aapka hiya bhi kaam kar raha. So this is called, uh, we will say like vectors. So like vectors means the vectors which have same sense. So that is like vector. Then we have unlike vectors. Unlike vector means the vector, one is this way, another will be this way. Again, we will say support line will be parallel, but the sense will be simply opposite. One vector acting in this direction and second is acting in this direction. That means we will say it will be called as unlike vectors. So one is like vector, another is unlike vector. So that way you should keep in mind. So vectors, type of vector we have started. Type of vector first is null vector. Second is like vector, unlike vector is there. So like vector, unlike vector and the null vector you have. That you should keep in mind. Next one is parallel vector. So now one more thing in this like vector, I never concerned about their magnitude. I never told them they can, can have a magnitude same, they can have a different magnitude, we are not, not bothered about it. We are bothered about their arrows. If they are in the same direction, same arrow, we will say support line parallel and arrow in the same direction, we will say they are like vector. If they are uh, parallel support line and their uh, directions are simply opposite, we will say this will be unlike vectors. That you should keep in mind. Then we have parallel vectors. Then when you think about parallel vectors, parallel vectors means the vectors which have only support line parallel. 
means either you have a like vector or an unlike vector they are called parallel vectors either they have parallel if the two vectors are having parallel support line ye dono parallel support line hai ye bhi parallel support line hai to ye vector parallel honge ye vector bhi parallel honge to parallel to dono kehlayenge but ye kya kehlayega like vector because their arrow are same this will be unlike vector because their uh, arrows will be in opposite direction so write down parallel vectors definition also you write down vector having the same or parallel support lines the vectors which are having parallel or same support line same support line are called parallel vectors clear next one co initial vector co initial vector co initial vector the two vectors are said to be co initial if their initial point is same i told you always this point is terminal point this is called initial point so initial terminal initial terminal so we will say if the two vectors are having initial point same we call them as co initial vectors so co initial vectors means the vectors which have initial point same called as co initial vectors right next one comes co terminus vectors co terminus vectors so two vectors are said to be co terminus co terminus means same terminal point these are terminal points so they are called as terminus vectors two vectors are said to be co terminus vectors if their terminal point are same if initial point are same we will say co co initial point vectors if their terminal points are same this is called co terminus vector so that you should keep it is it clear then comes negative vector what is negative vector just check if we have one vector this pq if i say you make a negative vector of it now if you want a negative vector means a vector whose magnitude is same as this its support line has to be parallel ye hamare paas vector banna chahiye jo iske parallel ho same magnitude hona chahiye but the arrow should be opposite the two vectors are said to be one this vector will be negative of this vector if it has the same magnitude as this but the direction is simply opposite तो यही वेक्टर इसकी डायरेक्शन को अगर हम रिवर्स कर दें देन वी कॉल दिस एज अ नेगेटिव वेक्टर सो यू शुड कीप इन माइंड नेगेटिव वेक्टर मींस द वेक्टर राइट डाउन डेफिनेशन प्लीज द वेक्टर व्हिच हैज सेम मैग्नीट्यूड एज पी क्यू बट हैविंग डायरेक्शन अपोजिट टू इट इज कॉल्ड नेगेटिव ऑफ पी क्यू वैक्टर is called negative of pq vector this is pq vector that this is minus of qp vector so pq vector and qp vector they are simply we will say they are parallel yes they are parallel vector no problem are they unlike vector yes they are unlike vector are their magnitude same yes they are magnitude same so these are the two vectors which are having same magnitude support line has to be parallel or the same parallel or the same but the direction will be simply opposite is vector ko aap yahan bhi bana sakte the yahan se start karte aur yahan banate iska just reverse hum le lete aur equal length pe hum le ke jaate isko ab hum yahan par ye p hai ye q hai 
ये वैक्टर अगर हम लेके चले लेट दिस वैक्टर इज डिनोटेड बाय ए वैक्टर देन दिस विल बी माइनस ऑफ ए सो इन दिस केस व्हाट आई एम फाइंडिंग हियर दिस वैक्टर एंड दिस वैक्टर हैव द सेम मैग्नीट्यूड बट देयर सेंस विल बी अपोजिट सपोर्ट लाइन इज सेम सो दैट्स व्हाई वी विल से वन वैक्टर इज नेगेटिव ऑफ अदर so that you should keep in mind then very important result we should keep in mind equal vectors ye negative vector tha ab hum baat karte hain equal vectors two vectors are said to be equal if their support line are parallel their magnitude are same and their sense is also same so if they have same length same length means dono ke magnitude same hai second same parallel support line honi chahiye parallel support line hai and the same sense teeno cheeze same honi chahiye first maine kya kaha support line parallel second i told magnitude same and third same sense let this is vector a denoted by this this is vector b denoted by this then what you should say their support line are parallel magnitude are same magnitude are same means magnitude a is equal to magnitude of b and their sense are coming same if that condition hold we will say yes the vector are said to be equal so a vector is coming equal to b vector so that you should keep in mind support line magnitude and same sense these are the three things if they are equal we will say all vectors are equal vectors then one more thing very important one unit vector unit vector unit vector a vector write down please a vector whose magnitude is 1 whose magnitude is 1 or unity is called a unit vector is called as a unit vector the unit vector in direction of vector a is denoted by a cap is denoted by a cap this is unit vector unit vector of vector a unit vector whenever we calculate there must be some vector jaise ki ek hamare paas vector hai like this is a vector a i want its unit vector i want its unit vector means a vector i want which will be in the डायरेक्शन ऑफ ए ए की डायरेक्शन में होना चाहिए मीन्स इसकी सपोर्ट लाइन इसके पैरल होनी चाहिए सपोर्ट लाइन एज टू बी पैरल फर्स्ट राइट एंड वन मोर थिंग इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड एज टू बी वन यहां से हमने एक वेक्टर लिया जिसका की मैग्नीट्यूड यहां पर वन है ये हमारी लेंथ मान लिया फाइव यूनिट है और ये लेंथ हमारे पास वन यूनिट है देन दिस वेक्टर इज कॉल्ड ए कैप एंड दिस इज वेक्टर ए ये वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग प्लीज स्पीक अप यस एनी वन समन गिवेन अ मैसेज प्लीज इफ एनी प्रॉब्लम लेट मी नो
Yes? No, sir. Okay. So here we have a vector A. This is vector A given to you. Then it's unit vector. The vector unit which you are going to calculate will be of this. That vector should be in the direction of A first and its magnitude has to be 1. That means this is vector A cap if you are taking this is always come out to be 1. The unit vector always have a magnitude equal to 1. So what is the use of this unit vector? Unit vector only tells us direction of a given vector. Whatever vector you have, it's direction if you want. I don't want the magnitude. If I don't want the magnitude, means I should take magnitude 1. And if I take magnitude 1, then it will be called as its unit vector. You can mark the unit vector here also. This part is called A cap. So A cap is what? This is A cap, which will be giving what? Direction of this vector A. But it's specified that its magnitude come out to be 1. So A cap always give you direction of a particular vector. Because it makes its magnitude 1. Both usme fix ka gaya hai, keval wo direction ko indicate kar hai. So we will say A cap is only giving a unit vector. So now here one more thing we should remember. If I say any vector A, I told you vector needs three quantities. One is magnitude, another is direction, another is support line. That means actually two things are there. Support line is a line which but we are not going to indicate somewhere. So A vector if I take it will have certain magnitude. I'll write that first. A magnitude. A vector having its length. Length will be denoted by A vector magnitude. Then it's direction. Who will tell you the direction now? Yes, who will tell the direction of vector A now? That will be denoted by A cap. Because this is the magnitude, this already has magnitude 1. So, this means that it will magnitude aapka hi And A cap is only giving the direction to you. So, any vector A when you are taking, it will be called as magnitude and the direction. Direction is given by the unit vector, magnitude given by modulus of A or magnitude of A. So, now we should remember any vector if you want, it will have magnitude. For example, this is 5 unit is here. So, I will say it is 5 vector. Magnitude is 5 and A cap will be giving its direction. So unit vector, whenever you are going to use, it will be only going to indicate the direction of the vector. So now we have a one formula we should remember. A vector is magnitude of A into A cap. Right? Vector representing two things. One is the magnitude, another is the direction. And this unit vector now can be equal to vector divided by its magnitude. Whenever you want a unit vector, you have a formula now. A cap is a unit vector. Its magnitude, a vector divided by its magnitude is the formula. So whenever you want to represent a unit vector, A cap, it will be vector divided by its magnitude. That also you should remember. So A cap will be vector divided by its magnitude. Is it clear? So this will be the formula we will be using for unit vector. Now write some questions on it. We are whatever we have done, like vector, unlike vector, parallel vector, magnitude of vector, null vector, zero vector. That all the things which we have done for that, we are just uh, doing some questions just to revise these things. Write question, please. Represent. Write down. Represent graphically. A displacement of 40 kilometer. A displacement of 40 kilometer. 30 degree west of south. West of south. 
Displacement again a vector quantity. Displacement means I should have direction as well as magnitude. Magnitude is how much? 40 kilometer. Direction is given 30 degree west of south. Now my question is you have to represent it graphically. So whenever you want to make a graph, keep in mind this is the condition we used to have. On the map, we always know that this part is the north one, right? This is south. East will be this and west will be this. How much length is there? 40 kilometer. I can't mark 40 kilometers, so I'll be taking scale. 1 kilo, 10 kilometer, I will take as 1 centimeter. That means how much is the line's length? We will take 4 centimeter. 4 centimeter line, we will be taking 30 degree west of south. West of south. South is this. He's saying west of south. South up ka niche ki taraf aa raha hai. Idhar aap move karenge to ye aapka west aayega. Idhar move karenge to east aayega. Ye kya keh raha hai? West of south. South ye hai. South ke west mein jana hai aapko. West mein jana hai means this direction mein jana hai. Kitne degree jana hai? 30 degree. Ye aap ek line draw kare. What is the length of this line? This will be 4 centimeter which will represent 40 kilometer. And what this angle has to be? 30 degree. Then this is the final displacement. This is the vector representing 40 kilometer west of south. West of south, 40 kilometer will be represented by this displacement vector. One more you try now, 60 kilometer. Second question please. 60 kilometer East of north, uh, 60 kilometer, 45 degree east of north. East of north, please do it. Again, the 60 kilometer means what is the length of the line? 6 centimeter. 45 degree east of north. Here are north. Iske kis direction mein jana hai? East mein. I'll go this way. How much? 45 degree. So, ye aapka exact 45 degree pen. Pilkul yaan se beech mein center pen ikle. Ye 45 degree. Ye length aapki kitni honi chahiye? 6 centimeter. So, it will be 60 kilometer. It will be representing. And this angle will be 45. So we will say it will be 45 degree, 60 kilometer, east of north, east of north, 45 degree, east of north, length is 60 kilometer. So this will be the second part. Third, 50 kilometer south east, please try. 50 kilometers southeast. Fifty kilometers southeast. 